Hey guys, ZeroTech00 here and today we are gonna test the Norton Antivirus vs the Windows XP Horror Malware. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the first test. Okay guys, so the first test as you guys usually know, it's gonna be with the with other protections activated on the Norton Antivirus as we can see here we are protected, other protections are on. So without any further ado, let's run the Windows XP Horror Malware in 3, 2 and 1. And as well as you can see, the Norton Antivirus has detected and stopped the Windows XP Horror Malware from infecting the system as we can see here. The Auto Protect Protection has detected it and now it's most probably deleting it as we can see here. So with that guys, let's get further in the second test. Okay guys, so for the second test, as you guys usually know, I'm gonna run the Windows XP Horror Malware uh, again with the behavior protection deactivated as we can see it here so this time i'm gonna run this malware with this protection off it's like the secondary protection of an antivirus in this case it's the secondary protection of norton so yeah guys without any further ado i'm gonna run the under sex p4 malware with the behavior protection off on the norton antivirus in 3 2 and 1 and as you guys can see again the Norton antivirus has detected and stopped the Windows XP Horror malware from infecting the system as we can see it here once again the same protection is eliminating the malware right now. So with that guys, let's get further into the third test. Ok guys, so for the third test, I'm gonna run the Windows XP Horror malware once again but this time with both the auto protect and also the behavior protection off. But instead we are gonna have the data protector protection on which is also a very important protection to have enabled when you test malware and stuff on the Norton antivirus. So with that guys, let's run the Windows XP Horror malware once again in 3, 2, 1. And ok guys, as we can see we got infected, now I turned on those protections back again. And yeah, as you guys can see, we unfortunately got infected with this malware. I tried to like reactivate those protections real quick, but unfortunately that was uh, useless. I mean, we still got infected and yeah, it is what it is. They, as you guys can see, we are infected. Um, I really can't do anything. I can't access these windows. Uh, maybe we should wait for the malware to take effect, I guess. And yeah guys, as we can see, we are infected. Oh, okay, we, are, we also have access this time to Norton. Okay, that's that's very awesome. Uh, guys, what I'm gonna try to do now is... Uh, obviously, I'm gonna try to... To do a scan. Hopefully, we are gonna succeed. Let's try a quick scan. And there we go, guys. We can actually do a quick scan. Just know, guys, we have all the protections activated. So maybe that's also hopefully gonna work. I mean, hopefully that's gonna do something as well. I'm probably gonna mute the desktop audio cause, cause that's pretty annoying for you guys. And yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys with a, with a fast forward montage of the quick scan going on so I'm gonna see you guys in a few moments. Ok guys, so as we can see we obviously detected some malware here. Uh, we can see that the Norton Antivirus has detected a Trojan and a 32 bit malware, I guess. Uh, let's try to fix them and hopefully that's gonna help us to fix the system as well. And okay, guys, as we can see, the screen is blank. I mean, yeah, okay, that's interesting. So, as you guys can see, the malware isn't running, and I'm actually gonna try to like open the task manager thing. And unfortunately, I can't open task manager, maybe it's because of the malware. But yeah, guys, since we did uh, a quick scan, I'm also gonna restart the system. And from this point, we are gonna see if the system is saved or not. And okay, guys, as we can see, we can boot up in the system. I mean, the system is restarting, as we can see, the MBR isn't overrated. So let's wait for the system to restart and see what's gonna happen after. Okay guys, so the system has booted up and as we can see, 
it seems like it's alright but it's kind of sketchy that we don't have the icons anymore and oh yeah okay guys so okay yeah i already see what's going on so okay a lot of things has changed with the system as we can see let's check this manager oh never mind we don't have access to that anymore so guys just know my mouse clicks are reversed i mean my right click is the left click and the left click is the right click Oh, never mind. Wait. Yeah, as you guys can see, when I when I left click, it detects it as a right click, and when I right click, it detects it as a left click. So yeah, guys. Uh, in conclusion, the system has survived, but the damage has been done. That's for sure. But at least the MBR isn't overrated. But still, the, the damage has been done, and you are gonna most probably have to reinstall Windows. Or at least install some DLLs and I don't know there is a lot to fix on this system right now but at least it's working. So guys as a conclusion as you guys usually know keep your antivirus on be careful don't go on sketchy websites to download things for free it's not worth it and it's very risky if you are a newbie and you don't really know where to go and stuff it's very risky for you to get infected. If you try to do piracy and stuff so i don't recommend you guys to do that just stay safe you need to pay for the software you don't need to pirate and that's all uh, i hope you guys will have a great day a great night i'm gonna see you guys on a new video in the future and thank you guys for watching bye bye